They don't do water change, guys. Seem to have made a reappearance again, and it might have kicked off a bit of a YouTube beef. Now, regular followers will know that I have no experience of YouTube beefs, but I do have experience in the don't do water change thing. So if you follow a few fishy channels out there, you might know that some people have been making response videos to the claim that you don't need to do water changes by, made by some people. Now, don't want to upset anyone or anything like that, but I did make a video about this a couple of years ago when they did it the last time, and I don't think my opinions have changed any, but I thought I might offer some kind of insight into why this happens. So the crux of the problem seems to be that people who advocate not needing water changes upsets other people who say, well, you obviously do need to do water changes because look at all these different scenarios where it's essential that you do water changes. Very briefly, the idea is that if you have one certain type of fish tank, you don't need to do water changes as often. So if you have a very deep substrate, heavily planted, very low stocking, then you might not need to do water changes as often as someone who doesn't have a tank like that. And that might be true to a degree, but I still kind of disagree with it a bit. But that is one methodology that is pushed by one corner of YouTube to say this is possible. Now, the problem comes when you make a video like that or when you have a belief like that that this is the way to run aquariums, your chance to interact with your audience is 90% your thumbnail and your title and maybe 10% the actual content of your video. Some people just see the thumbnail, just see the title, make a snap decision of I'm going to agree with this, I'm going to disagree with this. As I talked about recently, even some people who actually watch the video don't actually watch the video. You get comments all the time that you're thinking, literally, this is what the video is about. Why are you asking that question? That's why we have this problem. If you want people to watch your video, and let's face it, everybody on YouTube, me included, wants you to watch my videos. So if you want someone to watch your videos, you need to make a thumbnail and a title that's going to make people go, hmm? And a way to make people go, hmm, is to say something outlandish, shocking, um, you can call it clickbaity if you want, but something that's going to go, what are they on about? Click that. Now it might be something you go, what are they on about? It might be something you go, oh, what are they on about this time? It's all about getting the click, getting the view. So to clear it up, the nitrogen cycle is what everyone will reference when they talk about whether or not you need to do water changes. Uh, that camp are saying, well, my nitrogen cycle, which starts with you feeding your fish, your fish then pooping and pooing, pipping and pooing, um, produces ammonia, which gets turned to nitrite by your filter media, and then to a less harmful version, which is nitrate. So nitrate's the one that's not as bad. Ammonia, nitrite, quite bad. The crazy old folks over there, they're saying, well, if you have lots of plants and a low stocking level, uh, deep substrates to hold all this good bacteria that's doing all this magic, you don't need to do water changes. And to a degree, they're right, but the majority of people don't have tanks like that. And I think that might be where the problem lies. If you are making a video and you're popular, you're getting a lot of views from it, and the 90% of the information carried in your thumbnail and title is saying you don't need to do water changes, if you're one of the people who happens to see the video and you've got climb puke gravel and a SpongeBob SquarePants ornament in there, and you see the video and go, ah, I'm going to take all my information from the thumbnail and title, remember, rather than the content of the video, I don't need to do water changes. <sighs> That's great. Now, I do have one thing to pick up on. Uh, one of the response videos was saying, oh, it's lazy. We want to make sure people aren't being lazy. Uh, I'm having none of that. Nothing wrong with being lazy. I am very lazy. That doesn't mean I don't need to do what needs to be done. I'm all for the lazy lifestyle. I promote it constantly and yearn after it. Um, <laughs> it's not about being lazy. It's about being misinformed. People always gravitate towards the easier way to do things. If there's a difficult way to do it and there's an easy way, why would you go the difficult way? That's just stupid. So if someone's promoting an easy way to do it and all the information you're getting is you don't need to do water changes, great, I don't need to do water changes. It's just not true. Obviously we know that, but they don't. So what we should be promoting is more of the context around these things, more of the information that helps that become true. If you want to keep an aquarium, but you don't have to do water changes, then do these five things as well. If you don't do that and you have a, one of the millions of other types of aquariums or different scenarios, you have to do water changes. It's going to be part of your routine. 
it's obviously just done as a thing to make people irate and click the video. So it's a kind of genius YouTube marketing strategy, but it's not true. The specific scenario for each individual fish keeper or even individual tanks for the same fish keeper could be so different. So if you have some tanks that might be African cichlids, no plants in there, your plants that don't exist aren't going to eat up the nitrates that you're producing. If you have a heavily planted tank, they might. So if you have one fish keeper might have high nitrates coming out of their tap, so they're never going to be able to bring them down. Another might have really hard water or soft water, but the whole conversation seems to be focused on nitrates and that's only a, a part of the problem here. You're also changing water for a myriad of other reasons. You might need to replenish um, nutrients in the water, so trace elements, salts, calcium, it, all those kind of things. You might have fish which are producing hormones, so you want to get them out of the water. There's Nitrates isn't the be-all and end-all for doing water changes. There are more good reasons for doing water changes than there are for not. So it's not necessarily about doing a pile-on for the people who make those videos. That is a way to do things. They're happy with that, they're following that way. It's, it's true when you read in all the context to that specific scenario, that is a way that you can avoid doing water changes as often as someone else. For example, I'm a discus keeper. I have my lovely discus tank. It's really important to me that I change water on that regularly. Now, even within the discus world, people disagree about the schedule you should use to change water. I kind of do it once a week now. I used to say twice a week. I used to say more than that. I used to say large volumes. Um, but yeah, I made a video about this recently. I'm kind of doing a 50% change, if that, once a week. And that's fine for me. Now, other discus keeper would argue with me saying, that's not enough. Your fish are stunted. Your fish aren't growing great. And I do, I have a couple of stunted fish. Um, am I going to ever show my fish? No. Do I care? No. So it's all about the bigger picture. You have to understand what's going on with each individual tank as to determine whether or not any water chain schedule is right or not. It's a natural byproduct of YouTube is the problem, is you are trying to be sensational enough to get the click, win the view, and anybody that makes YouTube videos, even the ones that say they aren't interested in being popular and getting all those views, you wouldn't be making a video if you didn't want anyone to watch it, so that's just nonsense. It is just, like I say, a natural byproduct of making a, a, making a video is you have to create a thumbnail and a title if you want someone to watch it, and it works. We're now talking about this. Other people are talking about it. I was talking about it two years ago, but you know, these things are cyclical. I definitely don't like the more outlandish um, titles and thumbnails. I understand why they're made like that, but I do think if we are, some of us claim to be educators, that kind of goes against that grain. When you make something that is so easily misconstrued, I think that can sometimes be a bit off-putting to other people but it does give everyone else a chance to respond to the video and makes it a discussion point. So you've got to weigh up these things. It's definitely not something to just do a massive pile on and start going, no, bad, say the wrong things, don't like. Um, so how would I sum that up? There are definitely more reasons to do water changes than there are ways to avoid doing water changes. It's kind of a fundamental part of fish keeping. Unless you want to be such a regimented, limited way of keeping fish tanks, which you could be perfectly happy with, and I'm not saying that it's the wrong way to keep fish tanks, but there are, it's such a limited set of variables that will allow you to keep fish tanks that way. There are people who have been talking about the Wallstead method, all, all these other things, there are people who love them, and there are people who say, mm, I don't know if I agree with that, and then there are people who go, I, I just don't like it, it doesn't, it doesn't appeal to me. And all those people are fine, and they're all right to a certain degree, and they're all perfectly capable of existing in the same hobby. Um, it's not always about saying someone's wrong and someone's right. So, there you go. At least I got to make a video about it. Um, if you want to discuss this in more depth, you can check me out on Friday night, 9pm UK time. I do a live stream every week. You can come along and join us there. We've got the Discord server. All these links will be down in the description. Click the like button, click the subscribe button, click the button, because I'm a YouTuber and I must make videos and get views. Thank you very much. Bye!